Hey everyone, uh, I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a while. It's been so hot and over 100 degrees, so I haven't been uh, doing all that much as far as working on stuff in the garage, it's just too hot. So, one to um, go over today is um, seat cover day. So I've done exactly one other seat cover and it was pretty much a flat seat and went pretty well, but this one's got a lot of contours on it and it's split level. So <clears throat> I went on um, eBay and um, got one off from there. And what I'll do is I'll put the, um, put that on the thumbnail of um, the video that you're watching so you can see which one I got. We'll see how it, um, if it's, a lot of people um, have said that it's a slight bit too big, but it's all sewn together and um, it's looking, looks pretty good to me. So we're gonna see how it goes. I'll show you how to take this back pad off and um, we'll, uh, I'll have you watch while I take the seat cover off uh, once again. This will be about my second seat cover. So I'm not a professional. If um, you know how to do it easier or um, you know a way that, um, I should have done it, then do it that way. But um, for those of you who don't know, we'll try it together and see what happens. And uh, hopefully we um, get a seat cover on there and it looks good, so. All right, here we go. This is the um, seat. <clears throat> Got some cracks and stuff in it, so it's time to uh, replace it. So <clears throat> this is the new seat cover. You see, as you can see, I got strings in here. So I'm assuming that goes through the foam and then this pulls it tight, <clears throat> pulls it tight through the foam. So, and then it came with also a back pad also that we'll install. So this back pad, um, let me see here. I'll show you, show you how to do it. This back pad, you've got to go up through here with a wrench and connect on the nut and get the spin. I've already done so. I've got mine loose, like a turn or so. So now I can stick my fingers up in there and unscrew it and we'll pull it out. <clears throat> I do believe there's only one screw. I'm not 100%. I haven't gone all over the back of it, so... There may be more screws back there. Um, we'll just have to see. So let me get you set up here. So you can maybe see what I'm doing. Okay. So the center one, just doing a unscrewing deal. I do not want to drop this screw for sure. This nut for sure. And I'm assuming there's going to be a washer on that too. Come on. Okay, that's what you got. And that with a washer. Oh, that's not the only one. one over here and one over here also Yeah, pretty much get a full turn on it. Let's see if it'll... It did. Loosen with my fingers. My fingers are cramping up, so...
<sighs> Number two. All right, got one more to go here. <clears throat> one more to go. Where are you? Man, these aren't easy to get to. These aren't easy to get to at all. This might be the hardest one. Okay, I got it. Push on the seat a little bit. <clears throat> Push on the seat a little bit now. If you can get it that quarter return, then boom. All right, seat covers off. One here, here, and here. Gotta reach around. All right, <clears throat> so here we go. <clears throat> Let me get you set up here. Sorry, everyone. No one wants to see that on video, but it had to be done. Okay, so mm, got this small little screwdriver here. Make sure you guys can see. You guys should be able to see what I'm doing. Okay. Got this small little screwdriver here. I'm going to try to remove the staples with that. Okay, so <clears throat> another important factor, do not you gotta have a place for these so that it um, doesn't go in your tires. So that's an old jar for now. Okay, so put those in there. Um, pliers are going to be your your friend here too, I think. I have to start them with this thing. And some of you might be saying. <clears throat> All you gotta do is cut along here and that'll come off and you can just put the new one on it. Well, I don't know. I'm gonna do it this way. Takes a little more time, but I'm gonna take it all off. Start fresh. Give it a new life. Okay. <clears throat> You can see I put a couple in here just to test my um, test my staple gun to make sure it's going to go through. So that's what we got on these two right here, which it seems to me it's going to work pretty well. So I'll just keep it chugging. <clears throat> them out because mm. I don't see the rope through the plastic so I'm sure it's just in the foam the rope is and 
And uh, I'm sorry, I don't have uh, time lapse. I can't put time lapse in the middle of the video and speed it all up for you. Um, you'll just have to keep uh, pressing, pressing tap the forward three or four times, and you'll skip forward three or four, 30 or 40 seconds and, until you get to see something you want to see. This is um, kind of boring, yes, but it's all part of taking this apart, so I figured I'd do the whole video on getting this all out so you guys can see. So I can't really enter it enough to make sure and keep up with those staples. So come to this obstacle. Take this off. Okay, take that off, set that over here. Get that out of our way. The screwdriver is actually working pretty well. Even the ones I'm <clears throat> just having to pop up off the, then I'll come through with my pliers. And, <clears throat> Cutting it would have been a lot faster, but I'm not going for speed. And there's a lot of staples in here. Okay, <clears throat> so once I get all the staples out, I'm going to do a part two, because it's going to take me um, a little while to get these staples out, and it's a boring video, so look for part two, <clears throat> please like and subscribe, um, I'm almost at 450 subscribers, I think, which is awesome, um, Thank you to everybody that subscribed for sure. And um, <clears throat> like I say, once I get these staples out, before I unpeel it, I'll start another video. So thanks everybody.